Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a clue as to if you sell any kind of a product right now, um, it actually does, you can take away the same kind of stuff for if you sell a service instead of a product. And by the way, if you offer services, you should really think about packaging a service up as a product. You'll make way more money. <laughs> That's not what this video is about. Um, so how are you going to be able to take you know, the products that you have to sell through running Google Ads for your company or Bing Ads as well if you're running those or you should actually be running both if you, just, if you run one in most markets unless you're selling the super, uh, super young crowd, how you're going to be able to get the most from those products. So, but the question actually is that I'm answering this video is do you, I actually need more than one PPC campaign or ad for each product that I sell in my company for my Google Ads campaign. So I know that's a mouthful. So I'm going to answer the that question specifically. Do I need more than one campaign slash ad for the multiple products that I offer? Assuming that you offer, of course, more than one. And even if you just offer the one product, you still can take away something from this particular video. Um, this video is going to be able to cut your cost of what you're paying for a click right now if you're already advertising or would in the future when you start advertising by a third. The ROI as a result it can go up about 3x on the flip side of that. You're going to be able to sell as much as three to five times as much product in general or overall using this methodology that I use for selling products in every campaign that we're working on here to guarantee our clients results and what we do here at Guaranteed PPC. Anyway, um, so with that said, I'm gonna go through how I set up campaigns for products, um, companies that sell products, so you can understand how I set them up in which will guarantee the client's results basically every time, I'm not tooting my own horn, I'm just showing you what we use here. And uh, it's not complicated at all. Yes, it does take some work as usual, as I mentioned a lot of my videos, the stuff I have here isn't, it, you know, no work, but, some work and just being a little bit more um, thoughtful of the customer, you'll pick, you'll make out like a bandit, and ultimately, so the customers just all start coming to you, Google and Google wanting to send them to you as well. So, as usual, in my videos I have a short list of things to cover that'll explain how you actually set up your campaigns um, for your products, so you're going to be able to get these kind of results, as I mentioned on this video do's, don'ts, pros, cons, all that good stuff, and how to get these results as, men as mentioned. So anyway, the first thing I'm gonna just basically stay as a dis general disclaimer, a background. Why we do anything in PPC, Why, or in other words, why do we do anything in PPC and could actually do, on the flip side, virtually nothing, nothing or l as little as possible if we choose. So what I, kind of mean by that is, is and what I was touching on a bit ago, as somebody who's trying to, who, who has money to spend on ads, on Google, on Bing, also in other places, you have to decide what, what do you want? Do you want to make a lot or do you may want to make a little? The people that make a lot don't do the same things as the people that make a little. The people that, do, that make a lot generally put more work in. It's more thoughtful work, can't just be any work. You can easily watch my videos and see exactly what you need to do for free. But, um, you know, and, and there's all shades of gray. You can put in a little bit of work and get some results. You could put a lot of work in and get a lot of results. And so what I'm mentioning here, even though this isn't something you'll see your competitors doing, it's not about what my competitors are doing or what your competitors are doing. It's, what, it's how much money do you want to make? And that's not a cliche. You put this kind of detail on your campaigns, for the most part, in over 90% of the markets out there that have established markets selling products, you are gonna come out of this thing a winner. It's gonna self-finance itself. It's gonna be able to scale. It's gonna make money for you on autopilot once it's set up, once you've put, done that hard work to set it up, the way that I'm about to explain to you. And of course, like anything else in marketing, not just PPC, you could always justify, well, what if we don't do that? Well, what if we just save here? What if we don't, eh, well, I don't know if we're, we could probably cut this. I don't, 
And pretty soon you're, you could be down left with something that doesn't work and something that doesn't take any time to put together. So the average person spending an hour or even let's say 20 minutes setting up a campaign for the first time on Google. The, what I'm spending to set up just initially to get started for a, product, a company that sells a variety of different products and we're even just talking about like a thousand different SKUs that you might be selling. I'm spending between 100 and 200 hours doing keyword research and setting up the campaigns and the ads the right way so people that want what I sell can find it easily and not have to expect everybody to go through this huge maze to, to be able to find what I sell because that costs you to be, be able to do that. And so anyway, I'm going to explain here how you're basically going to free up all the bottlenecks so the people that want your individual items and are searching for it will exactly be able to find what you have quickly and easily, easily give you their money and for you to be able to make these kind of returns out of your campaign. You still can spend an hour on your campaigns and I'll be spending a hundred hours on mine, but my campaigns I can assure you and I'll be willing to bet you <laughs> mine are going to work better than yours. So it's all relative. You can spend as much time on it as you want, but if you want the really good returns, the you know, 10 to one ROI, thousand percent ROI campaigns running for your business and generate several, several million uh, millions of dollars a year in sales profitably at those kind of levels of ROI for your business, well then you, and you know for sure it's a life or death situation for you to be able to do this, then you should not take any shortcuts and just follow pretty much what I'm going to explain here as much as or as excessive as it may seem. If you don't want the best results, of course, that's still your choice. But anyway, this is a tried and true methodology that I've come up with here. I've done this dozens of campaigns or dozens of times now for dozens of campaigns. It's pretty much the same for everybody selling a, you know, a product in that I'm following the same exact methodology. And for all practical purposes, if you sell products, this method will work for you. Let's just put it that way. Of course, the keywords and, and how you find the keywords and how you set up the ads will be a little bit different. I'm going to give you some examples on how to find the keywords basically and write the ads that are going to go with each keyword, which you're going to have an ad for every keyword that you have in your list, which is the way that I 100% of the time do things to be able to get results every time I set up a campaign in, in which we'll have a profit left over after our expenses. And, you know, with that, you'll be able to follow this for yourself after the video, um, assuming you want the uh, seven figures of sales a year for yourself and your business and your products that you're selling as well. So anyway, with all that said, there's three basic kind of slots or categories in which I'm going to break all my campaigns up into. Um, you know, we'll have more than one campaign in each one of these three slots I'm going to describe to you here. but every campaign that you do end up having ultimately is just going to fall into one of these three slots, which I'm going to simply name category, product, and type. So with that said, there's three different, and those categories have been defined as, as I've found, three different ways that people are going to search for the products that you sell. It is, it is a defined market. If you know, of course, there, you are the first one doing what you're doing. Things could be different. For anybody who, where you're not the inventor of this product and nobody even knows to search for it, you know, ultimately, you're going to have a category. And what I have given you here is an example of if you sold LED light bulbs and ballasts that, that you know, the light bulbs can be in and in general, lighting for B2B and B2C, all different applications, LED bulbs. You had a store doing that. I'm going to explain how these three categories would be broken up in terms of your campaigns and how you're going to split everything up to get these results. So the first thing is, if you sold the LED bulbs, you have to realize that people are going to search for stuff like LED light bulbs, obviously, right? When that happens, you're going to have to set up some sort of ad copy in that situation because that's the obvious thing that all the other people in your space are going to know to target for keywords. The people that the average guy that or girl that's going to spend you know the hour on her or his account setting it up is going to target this keyword. They're going to have quickly type in something for their ad and they're done. To and as I was mentioning before, if you want the really good returns that are for sure going to work, you need to go basically not just what everybody else is doing, but beyond 
because that's going to automatically always get you your you know the ROI basically that you're looking for because the clicks you're getting now automatically more out of the clicks than anybody else the clicks are priced to what the market can bear and now you're the default winner in this situation so your goal should be to do one up on whatever the competitor has in your market that you see and if you do you basically automatically know at that point you'll come out this other end a winner but if i were setting up an ad for led light bulbs first of all the headline always says what the keyword says and you're going to have an ad just for every single keyword as i mentioned before this is a default structure for a search campaign on google and then i'm going to have something there that's going to st make the ad stand out from the other four ads that are there because that's ultimately what it's always about in google you have four ads there up top your ad has to be more appealing than the other people's ads so i'm going to say number one reviewed supplier or something that's going to actually differentiate my store from the other stores that are there that sh should be your goal now taking that one step further i'm and i would recommend you do this but it's just like i spent a lot of time initially explaining that you could spend a little time or a lot of time on these campaigns depending on how much you want to make if you want to make you know by far the most basically double based upon the ad that i just described here for that particular keyword i explained uh, that you should could or could or would set it up for instead of saying number one reviewed supplier you could have sale on all led bulbs in july assuming that it's july i now see this ad now i ha really have a reason to click on that ad versus the competition what are you going to click on led light bulbs selling all kinds of led bulbs blah 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 or sale on LED, all LED bulbs in July. I'm clicking on that ad like every time. So, and you'll get rewarded because of it. You should, by the way, when you do that, if you're gonna go that route, which I would recommend, and you have, oh, yeah, and yes, you have to update the ads every month. There's a way to program it in so that they turn on and off after July is over with, but you're gonna get double the click-through rate and you're gonna make double the money doing this. If you have sale on L LED bulbs in July, and this goes for all ads, specifics matter to people. So, and specifics get click through rate and specifics make more money. Instead of saying sale on, 30% off all LED bulbs in July would be the ultimate way to set that up for maximum, maximum um, profit from what you're doing there. So, the, versus using what uh, number one LED, review, number one reviewed supplier versus 30% off all LED bulbs in July, you're gonna get a 100% increase in click-through rate from this versus this. And number one reviewed supplier is gonna get a twice the click-through as we sell all makes and models of LED lights. Just to give you some sort of comparison. So at the very least, these what I call head terms or category terms, that's at minimum here, the, you where you should take it to be able to outdo your competitors and therefore have something that's for sure going to be profitable to you at the end of the day after you've had some time to run your ads they will be profitable day one but after a few months of getting some you know initial traction on it and you've adjusted your bid up and down a little bit to based upon what how well your site's converting that'll be able to get you your eight to one return that most people are looking for um, you could go the all, all the way with the sale um, ad as i mentioned there updated every month and get twice as much on top of that. Now, the average search ad on Google is getting a 3% click-through rate, or in other words, out of every time their ad, uh, people's ads there that are on Google Ads right now on Google.com, that their ads are showing up, 3% are only clicking through. My ads, because I'm using this formula that I just gave you, will get between five and 8%. Um, routinely so whereas somebody has you know we sell everything I might get a two percent click through or something two to three percent this number one reviewed supplier will get you closer to the five percent and then your, your sale ad if you laid off the thirty percent and just had sale on all LED bulbs in July that'll get you like the eight percent and if you take it all the way and add thirty percent off and keep it updated every month you can get closer to ten percent so there's a big differentiation based upon, again, how much work you want to put in here. You put all the work in, I guarantee you excellent, excellent money you're going to be making from this. If you spend all the time to build up your company, build up operations, why not do this for yourself even if you have to hire somebody 
to do the data entry to maintain this. You'll, once you've done it for a few ads, you see the potential, you can justify the cost to keep it going. Even if it is more maintenance, you're still, it's, you know, you're, why not get the free money that's laying there for you? So anyway though, so there's people searching for what are called head terms or category terms as I call them, where people are just looking for in general how people would describe what you sell. Now there's these product terms. So instead of saying LED light bulbs, they get a little bit more specific. LED shop lights. Now, same as before, if someone is searching for LED shop lights on Google, I'm gonna have my headline, H1 headline on my ad is actually say LED shop lights in verbatim, just regurging it, tating it back to them. Why do I not do anything fancier than that? Well. When somebody's searching for something, if they see exactly what they searched for, as long as they know they're not tricked by that dynamic headline insertion, by which, by the way, do not use that because you want to hand write these ads. Sometimes what your keyword won't fit in the ad and you have to compromise and you have to hand write an alternate that doesn't seem like a robot wrote it. Because if a robot seems like a robot wrote it, people won't click on it and you've defeated the whole purpose of all this. But if they're searching for LED shop lights, well, you give them what you want or what they want there. That's number one. And then on your second headline, which is the H1 and the H2 is the main focus of the ad of what people read before they click on it. Uh, they read other parts of the ad, but I'm just, this is more than half of the equation here. So to get these kind of click-through rates, as I'm mentioning here, 8 to 10% or whatever, if you just follow the strategy, for the most part, if you screw up the rest of the ad, you're still going to get these click-through rates. Anyway, I'm going to say LED shop lights for that keyword, LED shop lights. And then I'm going to have the second headline say replacement for T5 bulbs. So the typical bulb, if you did not know in a shop, if they're using the LED shop lights is for a T5 ballast. So what you're ultimately here is, is saying, I know you have the, if you're looking for this item, I know you're looking for this item because you have this problem. This product solves this problem problem you don't have to ever wonder if you click on this ad you're going to have your problem fixed that's what your second headline is supposed to do another alternate way to do this by the way would be to say lights for a shop area 100 square feet plus so if you're not caring so much that you're the light bulb that you need to have replaced that fits such and such um, ballast which would be the where the bulb goes into you're going to want to make sure that that bulb's powerful enough to cover your, your shop and you're going to say, I need a certain bulb that's powerful enough to do that. And you're telling them that, okay, we're going to fix that problem. This is going to light up the area that you have of certain, certain size. So, but you, it's, you get the general gist. Uh, this isn't, I, if you ran this exact ad, I can't promise you this one's better than this one. I'm just giving you an example of how this is supposed to work. And so, and again, yes, you're going to have to come up with an ad headline for every product based upon what that product's supposed to resolve for the consumer. Yes, it's a pain in the butt. Again, do you want all the money? It's free money sitting there waiting for you to get it. Do you want to get it? Yes or no? So that, because they're that type of user shop, shopping for a more specific item, LED shop lights, and you having this more sophisticated ad that's going to tell the user how you're going to fix the problem with the product, you're going to get a much higher click through rate on your ad versus somebody who ain't going to have, they're going to have one ad up for like 50 different keywords. And so they're shopping for LED shop lights. It's going to be like LED shop lights, number one seller, LED bulbs, blah, 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 blah. Whereas you're going to have an exact ad that laser targets the concern that user has. And as a result, you're going to get eight to 10% click through rate on your ad versus the 3% they get on there. Or 3% is the average from all people in all markets and all keywords, the other user might get, let's say 4%, you're going to get the eight to 10%. So double again, uh, res respectively, let's just put, keep it simple. I'll pretty much, you know, that's the type of results you can expect if you've done this fairly executed it fairly correctly. The, the last category here are keywords where people are searching for specific items that you sell, not, so they're looking for an LED shop light that's for a specific kind of subcategory of item, if you will. And this all assumes, by the way, is all again, all we do is we sell LED bulbs. You, it could be all we do is we sell um, ammo. And I know that's not a, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. 
all we sell is to uh, computer toner. Um, to, get, to give you an alternate example here, this would be like uh, buy computer toner and then buy HP toner and then buy HP 1280Z toner. So it gets a little bit more specific and it's looking for, people are looking for an exact product that fits a certain mold. And the further down the list you get, the more profitable it is. So you want to get everyone here as you can, even though it's more work to actually set up ads for every single search that people make where they're looking for specific items here. And that going back to the example I gave you in the LED bulb space, somebody's going to be typing in, you could find these keywords by just going on, on um, Google Keyword Tool, finding the type of keywords that are there, and then writing all the derivatives down that you can think of using a thesaurus, using SpyFu, and then running a test campaign and seeing if those keywords are able to be run or not. If they're too, if they're not searched enough, it'll say low volume. And then with that, you know how to build out a unique ad for every one of those keywords that you find and then launch a campaign with every one of those eligible keywords. Do not waste your time with the ad copywriting process. But with that, you test a bunch of these keywords, you find ten, you know, five to 10 people search a month which makes the keyword eligible to be bid on and ran, 75 watt LED shop bulb instead of LED shop light. They get a little bit more specific on what they want. I would actually, by the way, with this, if they're searching for a specific item to solve an exact problem, that's not just for fixing the problem, but like fixing the problem for a specific, specific application, I would say the keyword again as I normally do in the headline one, but I'm also going to say the price if they're looking for a specific item like that is a 75 watt LED shop bulb dash $19. So when they see that ad, okay, they have exactly what I'm looking for, a 75 watt bulb and it's 19 bucks. It's affordable. I'm clicking on that ad. That person's pretty much so qualified by the time they get to your site. If you follow this model here, you're going to get 10 to 12% of the people to click through that ad and it's going to convert, you know, between five and 10% conversion rate onto the site. That's massive uh, ROI over 10 X on those type of keywords when it's done correctly. As far as the second headline here goes, I'm going to, for, I'm going to have a like fits T5 or T6 unit ballast. So on top of this, you're telling them, okay, you need this bulb. I know the, the unit you're going to put the bulb in. So I'm going to say, yes, this bul exact bulb that has the power requirement that you need and here's the price will fit the exact unit that you're trying to fill with it. So you don't have to wonder even before clicking on this ad that this is the exact bulb you need. So again, 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 this is tons of work, but massively profitable. And you may have to set up couple thousand ads to cover each individual product that you have in searches like this that people make and go and do your research, but it's worth it. I promise you. If you want to make buco bucks at this stuff, this is how it's done. In the toner space, by the way, um, what I'm going to do a lot of, there's two ways that people buy toner, by the way, they search at least on this kind of individual um, product level. I mentioned it would be like by toner, by HP toner, by HP 1287, which would be the model of the printer toner. The other way that people buy it is they look at the toner cartridge. If you have a laser printer and they see the, mod, the uh, part number on it and they search for the part number. If you have a part number, people search for it. You're the only one with an ad there. Extremely profitable. You should try that one out if you can. You're in a, in a more this commoditized, commoditized space where that would be possible. But I'm going to have Part in that case, I'm going to have part number toner cartridge, $27, fits model, whatever. So you get the general idea. I gave you an alternative example there. So anyway, when everybody else is getting 3% click through rate, you can get, you know, overall, let's just say 10% between capitalizing on all opportunities between categories of, of keyword slash campaigns, one, two, and three, I gave you here. That's going to give you three to five times the market size or availability of profitable consumers on Google slash Bing as you could get doing it the lazy way that most people are going to set it up as. Doing it the lazy way 
you may not even make any money or barely a very little and you're gonna do a whole lot of work for a little bit of money. If you set up the campaigns the way that I do it, you're gonna make seven figures a year for, for a couple for a niche like I described here. And yes, it's gonna take you 100, 200 hours with the work up front to set it up. And then over time you can, or you could spend you know five hours doing a few campaigns saying that it works and then get somebody else to help you out with it. I There's no reason at all why you can't do that. But overall, you know, long term, you're going to spend, you know, a thousand hours on this over a period of two to five years building this up and you're going to have the best campaign in your space because nobody else is going to bother with this. You're going to be the one that gets it. You're going to, first of all, get three to five times as many customers as anybody else. You're going to get them for at a, basically a third of the price as anybody else on top of that, which gives you a three times multiple on the amount of uh, ROI that these other average, the, the average people are also getting in your space or a third of the cost per li- click that they're paying as well. Either way you want to look at it, both are true. I have mentioned on other videos, if, you, if you're starting out with just a little bit of money and, you're, and you've got a startup, here's what I would do. I would just, instead of going after all three categories here, I would just go after the type here I give you an example of what kind of keywords you're gonna to have to look for. It's gonna be hard, yes, but find some. Do it the way that I described. Don't take any shortcuts. And just run those. Take the money that you make here, build it out, build it out, build it out. When you've got every single keyword you can here from this type category I mentioned, go move on to the product category and then get all those. Take your money from that, then do the categories last. You have to do the bottom thing, the bottom uh, two categories here I gave you anyway to make this top one work because if they're looking for LED light bulbs and they find your site and then they need to come back later on, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna search for the individual product and if they can't find it and your competitor has their ad there, guess what? You just lost the sale. So you're kind of wasting your time if you don't start from the bottom here anyway, just as a general disclaimer here. But anyway, what I was gonna mention was for this bottom category, this will convert at three times the rate than this top category will convert. So I mentioned here at the bottom, this might convert at five to 10% of the people that come to your site, setting it up the way that I set it up to where basically every user is gonna be qualified that gets to the site, or assuming so, um, that it's just you know three times as profitable than this, so why would you not stop here? Start here. The reason why people don't start here is because it's too time-consuming again. So this, you see, is general trend. All of this, the opportunity goes, and the spoils go to the person who's willing to do what nobody else is willing to do. So anyway, that's a summary of the kind of results that you can get. And this is why I would be doing your product business, running your Google ad campaigns, and, your Google, and setting up your Google account for your product business. Uh, and obviously you could start with a few thousand dollars and build up to seven figures a year in sales profitably reinvesting just what you make off your starting campaigns back into it and over the course of a couple of years build it up to that kind of scale for yourself already I've seen it done I've personally done it uh, more than a few times but this is the way that I'm doing it and this is the way that I would recommend you do it if you're starting out and you don't have investor funds to be able to lose you know hundreds of thousands of dollars until your camp Google eventually figures out the configuration with their smart campaigns and you know the, having run it long enough that eventually it just is efficient this gets you especially if you start out here efficient right away and very little money is needed starting out and also long term this even out of the smart campaigns you're not going to make as many sales as actually going ahead and doing this because even the smart campaigns are going to only have one ad to use ultimately and if you have unique ads set up for all the individual users with each with their individual use case and problems and you being there to solve it for them you are going to be able to make most of the money whereas most of the people in your space are you know at least half of the people in your space probably are making nothing they don't know it because they're not tracking it well enough and another 30 percent are making barely anything and 20 percent are cleaning up and you're going to be in the not only the 20 percent category making money Real, real money, but number one in that uh, individual category as well. If you do it, if you take it all the way that I described here, I've never been able to do all this stuff and seen anybody that had their ad set up better than I did once this is executed. So, at least if you take it all the way. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there's a lot of other videos on this channel just like this. You want to go ahead and check them out. Uh, money making PPC strategies just like I described to you here for all different things. Uh, I also have a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog. You can see step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up campaigns just like I described here on this video. You can check that out as well if you're interested in that. If you have any questions about setting up campaigns for product companies or sell companies that sell products, leave me a comment down below. I always get back to every person who leaves me a comment on this channel. But I hope that uh, inspired you to try some of this stuff out. Just dabble with it, see for yourself how much it works. Hope you enjoyed.